Hi, um, I haven't taken any pictures of this yet, but I'm guessing that when I do, it'll just look the same to you as it did the other day, and I didn't want you to think I was showing you the same thing. So I've done some more work on it, and I just wanted to point that out to you. So I've actually extended it onto the lace now. So I've appliqued onto the lace here and here, and here. Um, French knots as well there. Over here I've appliqued some hexagons on to the lace and more applique and more French knots. And then the areas where I've, uh, I'll pull out a little bit. The areas where I've put these appliques I've also edged with buttonhole lace. Okay, so I'll say from there all the way around to there is done with buttonhole lace. Um, now, I think I've set myself a challenge, but it's one I'm looking forward to because this is probably going to be very much a part of the new pocket class. So if it's not this piece, this is giving me ideas for that. So it's a valuable exercise. So if this never morphs into anything more than this, um, it won't matter because it's told me a lot. I've learned a lot from doing it. And also, you, the other day when you saw it, it had these little bits of hanky edge in it. Well, I've done that again somewhere, but I've also, like here, put a little bit of the actual handkerchief body in it and edged that with buttonhole lace. And I've also done that over here, just to make a little bit of a difference on the surface, just to disturb that predictable thing of putting these in every place. So that's it really, very, very brief, but just because I wanted to show you what I've done, these appliques and the appliques on the body of the piece are made with the main body of the hanky. So the hanky is like this on the surface with these little delicate flowers on, white flowers, and then that's the edging of it. So, and I've probably used maybe a fifth of the edge, that's all, to do this. Not even that actually, probably. So I've still got a lot that I can do with this, well, with that hanky. But like I say, I don't know what will happen from here on in with this, but I do know that it's been a brilliant learning curve. Um, it's it's given me so many ideas and like a list even, even though I haven't written it, a list to move forward and to change this in, not because anything's wrong, but to extend the way of working it. So perhaps do this again, but then something else and something else that's been fed by working on this piece so it's never a waste of time to do a sample ever I would say even if you hate it and it ends up in the bin you know why you hate it so you learn from that so that's a fantastic exercise I'm absolutely over the moon with it